Okay, we, we use uh, technology in uh, several uh, aspects. Uh, one of them is to manage the whole process. For example, I was uh, mentioning product lifecycle management, and this means uh, that we have a very clear uh, process from the brief that comes uh, from a customer all the way to uh, the processing and the production in-house until the delivery. And everything is uh, visible and every step uh, could be followed and traced. Uh, this is one way. The, the second one is uh, that in the food industry, there are technologies uh, developed uh, all the time and uh, we try to utilize them, for example, to analyze products in a very uh, sophisticated way that we are able to supply exactly the same quality of product uh, a long time um, to uh, improve uh, yields of products to uh, measure uh, organoleptic uh, and physical chemical parameters. Some of it is, is quite uh, sophisticated equipment that assists us to uh, maintain uh, high quality because consumers uh, will not accept any deviation in products and it's our uh, task as suppliers to make sure that uh, this is done, I would say, uh, throughout the year with industry that is changing meaning the fruit industry is a crop-based industry, meaning you have seasons. It's seasonality and parameters are changing within seasons and we have to know enough in order to use products from different seasons, but make sure that the final product will stay the same. We can have the same product from five, six different origins in the world, from different seasons, and each one by itself is different and we need to find the formula that when you combine them together and maintain the same quality throughout the year because the person who pick up a, a bottle of, uh, of drink uh, needs to have the same taste 